guys so i'm back today i'm gonna explain about airdrop this is very popular and some more experienced mac users just say just airdrop me the file they say some things like that you are like what is airdrop what is that okay so right now i'm not gonna demonstrate it because i haven't got another mac here i've only got a mac one mac here uh uh I um, any of my friends are not here right now so any of their Macs won't work so it's not like mail or something it uses Wi-Fi and Bluetooth well it, technically it uses Bluetooth but it needs Wi-Fi to recognize the device okay so just click turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so it'll gonna go it'll open this screen allow me to be discovered by everyone don't see who you're looking for let's say okay so so let's say your friend has bought a Mac before you and you are not able to see him although his computer and your computer are at a distance of like 10 centimeters or something so just click here click on about this Mac I did another video about this one let me just put in a reminder during Air drop video <coughs> give link to system info video okay okay so right now you can see it's early 2014 right my computer so let's say your friend bought it in early 2013 so you're not able to see him just click here and see search for older Mac it'll search for all the Macs and click cancel to airdrop with iOS devices and of course and Macs that are early 2014 as well and of course Macs that are newer than yours right yeah iOS devices although your I let's say you bought a Mac in early 2016 your Mac is early 2016 but you already have had an iOS device from 2014 let's just say that so you still use the new uh, airdrop for the new one because you see iOS is always the new airdrop so if you want to just want to search for older Mac that will be the old airdrop okay so I think what I just said just now was a bit confusing I hope you understand it right I just demonstrated it to you okay so that was all